Hello, this is Kenny DeMercy at Utah State University. In this video, we will demonstrate how to import our TK rover data, calculate the geoid separation, which will in turn give us the ortho orthometric height, and we also will learn how to update the reference triplets or update all the um, rover points collected. So opening LGO and on this project we have already imported the base and no, Curtis Creek just double click yeah we've already imported the base and applied the uh, opus correction so there's our base point So we're going to import raw data. And I believe 0406 is the serial number for the rover. So we select that, import, go to the GPS tab. We see all of the data collected. Some unusual point IDs. Yeah, this is an old, old project, 2011. All right, check every tab. Make sure the settings are as such. And you could, on this uh, GPS tab, you could uh, uncheck, which means um, these points would not be imported. Generally, I always import everything. So go to the prod, uh, the general tab, select, make sure you select the project to assign the data to. Sometimes it defaults to an old project. So this is Curtis Creek 2011 GPS. We're going to assign it. And it warned us that there are some averaging limits exceeded. So we'll check into that. And if the data was on an external drive, we would save it to an, uh, the C drive. Uh, this data happens to already be on the C drive, so we don't need to do that. So we can close this. So here's our data in the view edit or map view. So all of our data, these red lines are GPS observation lines. If we right click and select graphical settings, I could actually turn those off and I'll show you a couple options here we could turn off the thematic codes turn on point IDs and zooming and one thing about LGO there is no it's not easy to move around you have to move the sliders, the scroll bars to move around. The other thing you could do is the arrows, but you can't. It, it's a little awkward to move around in LGO. Also, LGO saves automatically. There is no save. Everything you do is saved. So if you screw up, you can do uh, nothing. <laughs> There's no undo, there's no save. You start all over. Okay, so our points are imported. If we go to the points tab and then um, select grid and local, and you'll see that we need to calculate geoid separation. Right now, this data is on ellipsoid height, which we don't want. We want it to end up on uh, the orthometric height. That is, approximate means sea level. I only say approximate because it depends on what the coordinate system is based on. So it's considered mean sea level, orthometric height. So we have to go to Tools, Compute Geoid Separations. And if this is grayed out, that means that you have not attached 
the geoid to the coordinate system. So it's calculated. And we want to go to the base. What was the base point? Let's go to the GPS processing tab. It's BM100. Back to points, BM100. Um, so what I'm doing is checking these values to be sure. So BM100, our base point, should have an ellipsoid height. Yeah. Or am I looking at the wrong Opus report? Okay, I'm going to bring up the Opus report and validate that. 1693.985 okay that's correct alright so now what we want to do is select every point right click update reference triplets so what this does is this makes sure that those GPS observations are computed correctly from the adjusted base point and it's telling me yeah there is a change that's been made and I do want to apply it okay so I always go back to benchmark 1693 Now we can go here to the view edit tab. So everything's going very smoothly at this point. So that's it for this part of the video. We have imported data, uh, RTK rover data. We've applied the geoid, calculated the orthometric heights and updated the reference triplets. In the next video I will show you how to do line work and edit points, uh, edit lines, and how to export points and lines.